Hi everyone, I hope you're having a really good day today. At my house it's been snowing for a while and I see a few inches out there. So maybe later I'm going to go outside and play in the snow. Today I'm going to read a book that some of you might be familiar with. It's called The Dark at the Top of the Stairs. It was written by Sam McBratney and illustrated by Ivan Bates. That means Ivan Bates drew all the pictures of the mice and all the, and the stairs and the door. There was once a wise old mouse who lived with his young mice in the corner of a cellar. Every day, the old mouse liked to do something interesting with his young mice. What should we do tomorrow, he said one bedtime, for the young mice were getting ready to sleep and he wanted them to look forward to the morning. I would like to see the dark at the top of the stairs, said a young said a young mouse whose name was Cobb. Me too, said his sister Hazel, snuggling into the warmth. I want to see the dark at the top of the stairs. And so do I, said little Berry Berry, the youngest of the three. We have never been to the top of the big dark st stairs where the monster lives. The old mouse thought for a while. It was true that he had not taken his young mice up the cellar stairs. Then he said, well, what about a walk to the acorn tree in the garden? Or a visit to your cousins in the cornfield. We could even have a swing on the seed heads of the long grass. No, said Cobb. We want to see the dark at the top of the stairs. Or we'll climb up there on our own, said Hazel. And see the monster by ourselves, cried Little Berry Berry. The old mouse nodded as he made his young mice comfortable in their bed. Very well, then. We will go there in the morning, he said. He spoke as if he knew that sooner or later, all young mice will try to see the dark at the top of the stairs. In the morning, as early sunshine lit up the cobwebs in the corners of the cellar windows, they set out on their journey. There they are in their basement. I see lots of spider webs. Let's not talk about the monster, whispered Cobb on the third step up. I won't mention it if you don't mention it, whispered Hazel. I won't talk about the monster either, laughed little Berry Berry, who hadn't learned how to whisper yet. They're whispering so the cat won't hear them talk. After seven steps, they stopped once more. There was excitement in their eyes and the young mice hardly dared to look up, for they were closer now than they had ever been to the dark at the top of the stairs. I wonder if it's really, really real, whispered Cobb. You said you wouldn't talk about it, whispered Hazel. I hope the monster knows we're coming, cried little Berry Berry. On the tenth step up, only two from the top, they paused once more. Hazel turned to the old mouse and whispered, What is the monster like? Is it the most terrible thing anyone has ever seen? We don't have far to go now, the old mouse said, and climbed the last two steps. After him came Hazel and Cobb, and finally little Berry Berry, who said, I don't see any monster at the top of the stairs. Then something happened. The young mice crept into a crack of light. They saw a monster shadow move toward them as smoothly as a cloud. And something breathed out softly. One strange word. Meow! The young mice did not wait to say goodbye. With wildly beating hearts, they went. Bumpity bump and slippity slide and tumble thump. All the way to the bottom of the stairs where they landed in a wriggle in a heap before making a dash for a warm, safe, wonderful home. Making a dash means they're going really fast. At the end of the day, the old mouse came to ask his young mice what they would like to do tomorrow. I would like to go to the acorn tree, said Cobb. And I would like to visit our cousins in the cornfield, said Hazel. I would like to swing backward and forward on the long grass, said Little Berry Berry. 
but none of them mentioned the dark at the top of the stairs. The end. Thank you for listening to my book. I hope you enjoyed it.